Now that you're familiar with the app interface, we can import our first character into the scene. Tap on this asset button and then select a character. You'll notice that the character will have some colored shapes around it and these are called controllers. They let you interact with different parts of the character. Let's select one to see how it works. So we tap and now some new tools are visible. These ones will let you move, rotate and scale the character's different parts depending on which mode you're in. Right now we're in translate mode but we want to rotate this controller. So let's switch tools by holding down the magic button here and holding down anywhere outside the character like this. Bam, this is the pie menu. Now slide to select the new tool. Boom, rotate mode. Remember, you need to have at least one controller selected to use this pie menu. With a little practice, you'll be quickly switching between tools in no time, and trust me, this little feature will make your animation process much smoother. There are some advanced options for these tools, which let you use a world or local orientation, but we won't get into that for now. I do want to share a few more tips about selection, though. It's possible to select multiple controllers at once by holding down this selection button and drawing a selection box over the controllers you want like this. To deselect, it's basically the same action. We draw a selection box over the selected controllers, release, and now they're not selected anymore. Sometimes controllers are close together, so one more way to select is to double tap on the magic button first, and your view will then focus in on these controllers. Undo and redo options are also available in that pie menu we saw earlier, as well as save. Don't forget to save.